Tucker, Paul, you're both iPhone users, correct? Yes. yes. Do either of you have the Apple credit card? No, no. but I might get it soon. Okay, why? so uh, why? Why, yeah. I keep talking and then we'll talk <laughs> so, about okay. it. So you may get the iPhone savings account you're talking about, regardless of the credit card situation. Well, so, but you need the, save, the credit card to get the savings account. Yeah, correct. Okay, so let's start with square one. A few years ago, Apple rolled out a credit card in partnership with Goldman Sachs. Um, at the time, I looked at it and said, look, it'll probably do fine because people love Apple and I'm sure they'll have some nice tools to allow you to manage the credit card. But what's the incentive for me to switch, right? I've, I can load my Fidelity or Schwab or Capital One credit card right directly into my Apple wallet. I can use it to make payments on the Apple system. So why would I need to use this credit card? And I think the credit card did okay, but uh, you know, certainly for Goldman Sachs, they weren't happy about it because they didn't see, you know, they saw higher uh, higher default rates and higher. You know, just not as much for them on that credit card as they were anticipating. Although we'll see, because that was also timed with when people weren't carrying balances on their credit cards at all. So, you know, we'll see how Goldman Sachs does on now. The new product that they're rolling out, exclusively to Tucker's point for Apple credit card holders, is that they can open an account with a 4.15 percent APY. So it is a you know money market savings accounts uh, again backed by Goldman Sachs allows you to, with no minimums, uh, apply for a 4.15% savings account. Now, a few things about this. This is by no stretch the best FDIC-insured savings account you can get. Uh, I frequently get asked this question. I am sitting on Bankrate.com's website right now, browsing through the highest interest rates you can get out there, and 4.15% is not the best. The best that I can see right now is 4.81%. And it is from a bank called UFB Direct. Either of you familiar with uh, UFB? Nope. Okay. nope. Uh, next one on there, 4.75% from CIT Bank. Nope. nope. Okay, so both of these are FDIC-insured banks. I happen to be familiar with CIT because they originated my mortgage years ago. Uh, but you know, I would imagine most, and the next one is 465 from Bask Bank. And when I talk to people about, hey, what's the, what's the best rate you can go get? You know, they get directed to something like this, and they're like, ah. Never heard of this bank. Mm. Are they safe? Uh, you know, my, part of my point is like, well, it's FDIC insured, which so we just found out. That's it's, good. It's good. Yeah, <laughs> works. Um, so it's FDIC insured. But when it comes down to, well, what's their website like? Do you know what the terms are? You know, am I going to get penalized if I take money out of this? People have a lot of questions, and I think they're generally hesitant to go park their money at a bank that they are not familiar with. Apple solves all that problem. Hmm. I. I think this is going to do exceedingly well. I do too. Really? Now, granted, Maybe the, the, the threshold of having the credit card with Apple is a bit of a, a bit of a hump to get over. So that is one part where I say, okay, maybe maybe it's not going to attract everyone. But how many people are you getting asked questions from? Like, hey, I've got this money in the bank right now. What should I do with it? Yep. Like Bank of America or J.P. Morgan, mm-hmm. they're not paying me anything on this. What can I do? And my answer is oftentimes, you know, hey, there's a few websites out there where you can compare the best rates out there. If it was available to them right on their iPhone and could easily transfer right there to a company like Apple that they already have a pre-existing relationship with, I don't know. I I think this is, I think this is a sound one. I mean, this is coming from a tech player who is probably the most well known for uh, reliability for personal data security, don't you think? I mean, they had this whole marketing campaign with yeah, the are, Apple logo turned into Whether it's into true a or not, I think, they, uh, I think they maintain that reputation in the tech space. Very well. Certainly in the, uh, in the smartphone space. And uh, one step further, the who... The location who, tracking stuff, you know, there's plenty... Show of me there. a cell phone company that doesn't do that. Yeah, what are you talking about? Like the Apple tag? Is that what you're talking about? Uh, you know, they've, they've made the changes to allow for tracking on specific apps, but for a long time, yeah. their profitability was kind of driven by the fact that basically apps on their platform had all sorts of access to your data to know that you were looking up, you know, lawn equipment, and then the next thing you know, sure. ad showed up. And that's how it goes. I mean, I'm, that's I'm not everywhere. That, that's how yeah. the business goes, but... I, I push back a little bit on what you guys are. Your Not sentiments. as optimistic. Laid Not as optimistic out. because they're 
foray into the financial services hasn't been strong to mike's point before about the apple credit card i can't speak to the benefits for getting this card does it provide certain is it a cashback deal is it certain yeah, incentives on i think there's two or three percent cash back okay. when you use apple pay which i do frequently that that's the other piece that i would say that apple pay is on a lot of people's phones but according to data that i looked up recently six percent of u.s users actually use apple pay <laughs> for purchases uh, it just seems like they've really tried to make inroads in the financial services market i'm just more wary on their ability to do so now partnering with goldman sachs is something that they've done in the past or and they're doing now with this initiative so perhaps with that partnership they can be a little bit stronger but I am just a little more skeptical on their ability to really make inroads here. To Mike's point, it's a middle of the road savings rate. I guess maybe because we're in this world every single day and I see the rates that- I think if you told people that 415 is a middle of the road savings rate, they'd be shocked to hear you say that. Mm. Yeah, that sounds high end to me. I mean, to your point, it's not, right? I, I, I'm i looking just right now at at least a dozen banks who are offering APYs on their FDIC-insured bank accounts that are higher than 415. What, like 4.75? Uh, the highest that I saw was, yeah, 4.8 something, but there are plenty of Okay, so who am I going to go with? A no, no, a no name bank There's with 4.8, or am I going to go with a trusted name in Apple? So What's Citizens app? pays four and a quarter. Okay. What's Ally Financial? I don't know. Okay. I, I don't see them here. But there are plenty of banks that offer a slightly higher rate. Um but I think that that hump to get over, if, if Apple was offering this without the credit card, I think it would be a slam dunk. I yes. think they'd have a ton of signups. Yes. With the credit card, okay, it's going to be a little bit tougher. Uh, but even still, I think this is a pretty smart move for them. I, I think they, well, Goldman, I think the jury's still out if this is working out for them. For Apple, I think they seem to think it's a slam dunk. Uh, the more they can get into financial services, I think they're excited about it, especially when they take on none of the liability of it because all they're doing is providing the tech platform for all this occurs. They're not providing the FDIC insurance. They don't have to go invest the assets of the depositors I mean, that come in. People's lives revolve around these iPhones now and has been for several years now. If you're adding the financial element of this with a savings account with that percentage yield, I mean, yeah, that's everybody's life in one place. Couldn't agree with you more on how and it's the it, most user friendly uh, software or uh, technology out there. Literally, it's the easiest. Couldn't agree with you more on how just instrumental they are to our daily lives. If you look at the revenue breakdown of Apple, this would fall on the services component of things. And oh, it's e not going to make them anything. Yeah, right. It's so, not like don't get my excitement about this confused with thinking that it's going to move the needle for Apple stock or anything like that. Like, okay. No, this is this is tiny for them, um, but I do think it attracts users. I do think that it uh, really what it does. You were never going to leave Apple beforehand. If you have your credit card and your savings account from mm, sitting there, stickier. Now it's like there's nothing that can move yeah. you from Apple. You are you are completely stuck there for the rest of your life.